DFCRadio.com. Feeling so high. Slow so up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Cook up that hydro. Hydro make me feel high. Feeling so high. Slow so up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Roll up that hydro. Hydro make me feel fine. Cook up that hydro. Hydro make me feel high. Five o'clock, the kitchen's open. Welcome. If you're listening in your car, if you're listening in your kitchen, if you're listening in your home, cooking it up, this is Farm to Table Cannabis on DFZ Radio and High Times TV. We're the only show offering you edible reviews, news about the industry, and demos and cooking reviews and interviews with the top brands in the industry. So sit back. We got your ear for about an hour or so. The uh, the, the main entree will be up shortly. Today we got a big, uh, a big 710 episode for you. So none other than Babinka Treats is in the studio. Go ahead. Say what's up, Babinka. What's up, everyone? Oh, you guys are in for a splendid uh, conversation about culinary confections. And we also, we can't do a 710 episode without some extract. So we got Burning Bush in the building. Troy will be here momentarily to dab our faces off. Are you ready to watch some faces melt? I'm ready. We're going to melt y'all today. So let's start the show. This is what we do. Every week, we like to start off the show with some, uh, you know, keep you up to date on everything that's going on. So uh, this week is no other. And it's official. Jay-Z's entered the legal weed game. (laughs) Oh, my God. I did see that. He's partnering with a cannabis company. Um, The vibe must still be in his veins, I guess. On Tuesday, it was announced that Jay-Z has returned to the game, but this time he's legit. In a statement, Jay-Z detailed his multi-year partnership with Canna. California-based cannabis company, Kaliva. Per Kaliva, Jigga will serve as the company's chief brand strategist with the goal of molding the creative direction and increasing Kaliva's outreach efforts. Hova also has a, has a uh, social interest in the industry. Outside of marketing the brand, Jay-Z wants to increase the representation and participation of those with criminal records who are prohibited from participating in the growing cannabis industry. So he says, anything I do, I want to do correctly and at the highest level. Jay-Z's statement read that with all the potential in the cannabis industry, Kaliva's expertise and ethos make them the best partnership for this endeavor. We want to create something amazing, have fun in the process, and do good, but bring people along the way. So Kaliva currently operates a farm and two stores in Northern California. The company focuses on community outreach by offering steady jobs to those affected by the San Francisco area wage gap. They have the efforts recognized by the uh, God MC is something Kaliva CEO Dennis O'Malley described as humbling. I mean, yeah, I'd want to work with Jay-Z, too. <laughs> Those guys hit the jackpot of marketing right there. They, he, and, you know, Jay-Z didn't just pick anybody either. You know, he picked them people doing it for the right reason. So, uh, Well, that's good. <clears throat> salute to Jay-Z for holding out and, and, and getting in the right the right company and doing it for the right reasons uh, because we don't always see that when the celebrities get involved in the industry. It's so much of a cash grab. Something tells me. He's got enough bread. Oh, yeah. I think he might be trying to help some people with this one. He needs to come help me. Speaking of helping, Hawaii has just decriminalized marijuana officially, finally. So Hawaii is now the 26th state to legalize, I mean, to, you know, decriminalize pot. Now, uh, the new law removes the possibility of jail time as a penalty for up to three grams of marijuana, but maintains a $130 fine um, for their uh, controlled uh, legislature just approved the bill and sent it to the Democratic governor. So uh, they didn't sign it, but they also didn't veto it. So effectively letting it become law on Tuesday. The new law will take effect on January 11th, tw- uh, January 11th, 2020. And unfortunately, three grams would be the smallest amount of any state that has decriminalized cannabis. So it's the least amount you can have in any state, but it's a step in the right direction. So this is different from marijuana legislation or legalization. Under decriminalization, possession of small amounts of pot no longer carries jail time or prison time, but now continues to carry a fine or possession of large amounts or repeat offenses <clears throat> or sales and trafficking can still result in harsher sentences. So mahalo, Hawaii. Way to go. Doing You're doing it. It's official. We're smoking legal in 2020. You been to Hawaii? Not yet. Yeah, that ube cake would go crazy there. Oh, yeah. It's a fucking problem. My cousin lives over there. And uh, for all you hash bastards, 710, I'm sorry, man. I hate to break this news today. California bans the sale of butane to curb hash oil explosions. (laughs) 
I asked Saint when I got in here. I was like, is it, is it seriously illegal to sell butane now? He was like, yeah. And I was like walking in with a can of butane in my hand. <laughs> it's now illegal to sell large quantities of non-oxidized butane in California. An attempt to keep illicit hash oil producers from turning the state into a scene straight out of the film backdrop. Get the fucking holy over publication, Batman. But <clears throat> Gavin Newsom, his signature on a piece of legislation that would prevent these cooking culprits from buying enough of the stuff to go full-blown into their illicit market pursuits. However, it's not a total ban. The law, which took effect July 1st, still allows the sale of lighters and small containers. The state hopes the new statute will help curb the amount of deadly and destructive butane gas explosions they have experienced over the years due to people working above their pay grade when they try to manufacture cannabis concentrates at home. Cannabis now is ruthless for this article. I'd like to give <laughs> big ups to Mike Adams. You hold no punches on this one. You basically called them all fucktards, like, in a nice way. Wait. Don't Someone had a question. They said, "Just three grams in 2020." Three grams in 2020 for Hawaii is the is the is the most you can have. Oh, in Hawaii. That's Hawaii. In Hawaii. They're very strict on the cannabis and extracts out there, dude. You can't buy CBD unless it's in a dispensary in Hawaii. Wow. What in the fucking <laughs> lack of healing is going on here? <laughs> Weird, right? So yeah, shout out to Hawaii. You guys are making baby steps, but you know there was a time where you you couldn't even get tree over to Hawaii. I, I just uh, I, I take it myself now. But while we're talking about tree and growing tree, let's uh let's head over to the stock market. We got a, a stock market watch. Grow Generation shares shine in uh, a failing cannabis sector as Canna Trust scandals uh, continue to weigh. Oh yeah, speak in, speak in the microphone. We got our investor over here. Almost invested. Almost. Oh, see? Oh, so, uh, all right, you ready to play this game after this, Tom? It's called Sex Act or Stock Tipped. All right. You ready? Okay. All right, we're going to get through this article, and we're going to ask you if the stock tip or a sex act. So, grow generation, <laughs> this, is, this is a hot one, all right? This is not the first time we've done this bit on this show. So Wednesday, it marked a rare splash of the green in a failing cannabis sector that has been under pressure from the revel uh, revelation of illegal activity in Canada Trust Holdings. Shares of Grow Generation, which owns and operates specialty retail hydroponic and organic gardening stores serving the cannabis industry, soared 8% after the comp company said it appointed former Home Depot chief executive Bob Nardelli as strategic director, advisor for the executives who headed the home improvement stores over the 2000 to, 2000 to 2007. So he used to work with Home Depot. He's now going to be working with the cannabis Grow Generation team. All right. So I believe Grow Generation, GRWG, has a solid execution track record, it says, is strongly differentiated from its peers, has achieved scale throughout the supply chain of the hydroponic industry, and is poised to go to the next level, Nardelli said in a statement. So uh, Canatrust shares tumbled another 10% to bring their week-to-date losses to 34% after the Canadian regulator seized its cannabis after discovering it was growing in an unlicensed room in its Pelham facility. So Canada, it goes down. If you fuck around up there, they'll shut you down. The Canadian Cannabis Act forbids the export of unlicensed cannabis and says that anyone who does so is guilty of an indictable offense. So, wow, that's wild. So we, we jumped from that to that. I got, that, 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 that got wild quick. So you ready for this? Stock tip or sex act? All right, we're gonna go through a couple. We're gonna go through a couple of acronyms, <laughs> and you have to choose if this is a sex act or a stock tip. All right, so let's do this one. B B B C. Is that a stock tip or a sex act? I'm going to take a wild guess and say sex act. Oh, sex he act. wins. Bareback blowjob hey. to completion. Okay. All right. Atta boy, you're good at this. He's kind of good at this. I'm surprised. Bareback blowjob. That's wow. Like, what? Okay. All right. So let's <laughs> let's go let's go to the next one. Um, C T S T. <laughs> That's kind of trust. You did it. Hey, Ooh. see, he was paying attention to my article. <laughs> All right. And this was another game of sex actor Ooh. stock tip yeah. with Tama. <laughs> yeah. Are you in the cannabis industry? What are you doing? Are you the best sidekick out? Um, I'm I'm uh, just here to help. That's he, right. Hey, he, he just I'm, moved here. I'm just a dude trying to help, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we're going to shift the interview over to Tama now. So where, where are you from? <laughs> 
I'm from San Antonio. Oh, all right. So we got some more. We got some more Texas love in the building. Are you just bringing all these transplants over here? I am. I'm. I'm making the traffic worse for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> see, they they see how much fun Babika's having out here in this game, and they're like, you know what? That that's not a bad place to be in the year 2019. <laughs> So we're here to keep you educated, medicated, and it's 710, folks. So uh, we've always we've always stay smoked out on the show, but we're going to stay extra smoked out today. So uh, are you ready to take a dad, Tama? I'm always down. I know Babinka. She get, she blazes. I'm ready. And then, always uh, ready. You brought some wonderful treats. So this is not your first time on the show. Um, before we dive into the full interview, I just got to say, I, I can't stare at these any longer. I have to try one of these. Try these, them. These ube, so it's like ube bites? What are they? Ube cookies. Wow. So, I can't believe I've never brought you guys these. Yeah. I haven't brought, brought You brought these? ube cake before. You've, oh. I mean, you've, you've gone over these the top the every time. So check it out. If you don't know what ube is, it's a root. This is a, is a root traditionally um, like grown on an island nation. And it's got a beautiful purple tint to it. It would be mushed up into like a pulp. And then you would use that almost like a, um, a thickening agent for things like cakes, you can make bread. I mean, wonderful ube yeast bread. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to have some dinner on the radio. Holy. So how do you medicate these, you know? If anyone hasn't listened to Babinka before, she has been doing this for a minute, and she's got several different techniques. So I always got to ask her, what are we doing this time? It's coconut oil with uh, with shatter. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. 710, 710 official. She's got that oil in there. Now, um. Before we go to a break, we want everyone to know we got a magic butter machine to give away today. 562-653-0707. We got some callers on hold now, but uh, you, you you light up this phone board and someone's going to get randomly picked and walk away with a magic butter machine so you can infuse at home. And uh, as always, we're going to get medicated. We're going to take a break. We're going to play some commercials and pay some bills. And then we'll be back with Babinka and Tommy. Hey, yo. We got her in the house. Hey, this is a clean <laughs> studio now. That's right. We got the local we got the local best cleaning person in the house. So without her with this place. Yeah, without this place, it'd look like a frat house. Yeah. yeah but we're gonna pay some bills. We're gonna pay the cleaning lady, and we'll be back. 562-653-0707. Farm to table cannabis, DFZ Radio dot com. All the dab on me, man. All the drip on me and Z Bentley, man. Ain't know the fuck going on, man. Got, got all the dab on me, got all the drip on me, got all the dab on me, got all the drip on me, got all the dab, all the dab, got all the drip, all the drip, got all the dab, all the dab, got all the drip, all the drip, got all the dab, all the dab, got all the dab on me, got all the drip on me, got all the drip on me, She say she on three, that's trip team. Yeah. Say she on three, that's trip team. Yeah. And I'm fuckin' around and hit three niggas. Yeah. Yeah. Got that one shot, that's trip team. Yeah. Yeah. Fought the hangin' out a nigga, dim team. Uh -huh. Fought the hangin' out a nigga, dim team. Yeah. And I'm kickin' shit, no bully. She yeah. walked in the bitch like she threw me. Wow. With a pat down with my foolie. Oh. I used to be broke, didn't know me. Sweep with me, I ain't talkin' boom yeah. game. Yeah. And everybody hit the motherfuckin' floor. Right. Right. Well, got a rollie on my wrist, yeah. couple hundreds on my feet. Yeah. Oh. Shit, the bitch, you yeah, already know. Yeah. Oh. Say night in the trenches with the killer gorillas. Yeah. And I'ma throw the D real far, little nigga, and you know that your bitch the receiver. Same nigga, man, no ain't on the beat. Make the whole stand still black beetle. Bitch, you flyin' them off an eagle. Yeah, that bitch, you flyin' them off an eagle. Yeah. Got all this dab on me. Got all this drip on me. Got all this dab on me. On me. Got all this drip on me. Got all this dab, all this dab. Oh, got all this drip, all this drip. Oh, got all this dab, all this dab. Got all this drip, all this. I'm a son of the sun now. We can put no friends up with them guns down. Or we can put them guns on no wish where you want now. Kitchen with the bird, bird burn down. Blue fair rollers and them diamonds on bush down. Had a bad day, you better hush now. Hey, bitch, I've been dabbing, bitch, I've been having. Rolling all gathered in the mush now. I ran on a ride, that's a touchdown. I move full, good as shit go. Shut a bitch along, she caught the hiccup. I want thank God for New York. Hey, I pull that act in the motherfucker. My 
pockets swell up like the measles. I pull up and pop at your people. Patrolling the spot with the heater. Don't say no name, I got amnesia. I lick it and leave on the teaser. No second, no, I can't repeat it. I told her Michael Jackson beat it. Got all this dab on me. Got all this drip on me. Got all this dab on me. DFCRadio.com Launch crew, ready to reservoir. What's the load factor, sir? Bring in the riser blast liquid at two mils per gallon. Okay, sir. We are loaded and ready to launch. Ten, nine. Okay, eight, man. Seven, it's time to blast eight, off into the five, plant's root zone four, and into three, another galaxy two, of root growth. One. Rhizoblast is a proprietary blend of seaweed and the single-celled algae chlorella. Chlorella's abundance of amino acids and minerals contribute to its value in hydroponics. The benefits used in Rhizoblast are explosive root growth, the use with any growing medium or hydro system, its ideal use for transplanting, and the enhancement of your plant vigor in fast flowering plants. Let your plants have a blast and see a world of a difference with Rhizoblast from Botanicare. Check it out at www.botanicare.com. DFCRadio.com All right, we're back. I'm going to keep on dabbing in here. Thomas is having his big, big dab over there. Come on, Tom. Are you having a big dab? Big dabs. All right, so... I'm going to talk about hate for a minute because there's, you know, there's so much hate in this industry right now. And uh, you you got to you got to be careful out there because um, whenever you are portraying yourself as someone who does give a fuck and, you know, it, 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 it's you open yourself up to uh, people that don't give a fuck, you know, and uh, if you're going to go out there and uh, make it in this industry, you're going to have to have some. Uh, some thick skin to go along with the hate that comes along with it. Yeah. So, um, it's about propping each other up in this industry, but it's also <coughs> about, you know, standing for something, you know, and <coughs> quality speaks now, um, <coughs> consistency speaks something and how you treat the community is also, you know, speaks for a lot. Now, um, it's easy to hate, it's easy to get like sucked into the negativity out there because there's so much there's so much shit to call out, you know, like stop coughing and shit, you know. But no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But it's like uh, we've got to find a balance between uh, showing the love and being able to constructively criticize people when you see something that might not jive with your own ethical or moral standards. And speaking of one of the most flattered and hated players out here, <laughs> Troy 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 from Burning Bush just showed up on 710 with beers and dabs. So uh, salute nice. to you. Thank Cheers. you for coming. We got your seat open yeah. over here. Just come over here and join <laughs> us. Um, yeah, you know, we were just talking about haters, Troy, and uh, how, how how this industry, it's, it's weird. They come in many different um, shapes and sizes and forms. And, uh, you know, you, they, they might portray themselves as someone who's wanting to get something from you they might portray somebody who wants absolutely nothing from you but the hate comes all the same and uh being able to differentiate real people and constructive criticism from hate is i think something that we've all could like you know learn a thing or two because we all need to learn in our crafts <coughs> and you can't learn if you aren't taking some criticism for sure but there's a fine line between criticism and being a hater when you call someone's product out online, 
Better without, you know. That's person. total hate. You know, with without giving them a chance to defend themselves, that's hate. Yeah. You know? Going to a CBD products and just picking random CBD products and testing them, that's admirable for sure. Because you want to make sure you know what you're putting in your body. But if someone's trying to get their business off the ground and you're just you're that person who just wants to nitpick every single thing in an industry that's already extremely regulated and hard to do uh hard to do correctly in the eyes of the bureaucrats you know they're you're already up against all the bureaucrats that when it comes to the red tape and everything and owning a business so uh i just would like to see more people in the cannabis industry and cbd and uh hell even the hydro game just uh more propping each other up and being able to give that hey you know have you thought about doing it this way and instead of hating you know or breaking a brand down and um you know, I, I, I think of people that have been doing it and God, like you, you've had your del- your Instagram deleted like over six times and shit like that. That's like that's hate. That's not just like that's not just local jurisdiction. Like, oh, you know, let's shut down the cake girl because she she's making <laughs> cakes and we're not we're not OK with that. No, that's that's hate. And um, it's because you're doing things in the right direction. That's like that. That's always it. What do they say in video games? You know, if you keep finding enemies, then you know you're going the right way. Yeah. So uh, mm-hmm. I had to I had to hit the hit the hate button for a minute just so that people know like it, it is something out there. It's not all sunshine and rainbows in the in the can of game. And Troy, you've experienced this too. You know, no. from from back no. from your days of stealing cats off ketamine and shit. <laughs> I know. That's a that's an inside joke. If you don't get you know, it, out of out of every one thousand people, you get one uh, that needs to be put on the curb. Yeah, one fucktard. Yeah, you know. So uh, this is how it is, and, and the more people you reach, the more you're gonna find like that. So oh, yeah. off of the hate, and let's get to cake. All right, your cakes actually get rid of hate. <laughs> they spread well, love. Well, anti hate for cake. some people. Right, actually, yeah. when my my account actually got hacked uh, oh, the other man. day, and it was sending these stupid ass messages to all. I have eleven thousand followers. Uh-huh. So all eleven thousand followers, and I mean, everyone knew it was fake except one girl. She like wrote back and she was like, uh-huh. fuck, go fuck yourself. I don't care what you and your friends think. I'm this and that. Uh-huh. And she's like, and then she goes on my page and starts fucking, oh, you looks like a unicorn threw up on your cake and all this <laughs> oh, shit. And, hey, like, hey. Uh-huh. and that's the, that's the hate. That's not the constructive type of criticism yeah. we were talking unicorn about. Unicorn throw up is very magical. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, is she complimenting me? Because <laughs> right. I, I, I think that'd be throw beautiful. Unicorn throw up is actually nice. <laughs> <Right>. You know? <laughs> I love it. Always find a way to spin that. So the next flavor you're coming out with is unicorn puke. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome. I think it's a great idea. Fuck the haters. No, but let's let's talk about some of the things you've been doing because uh, you've had so much stuff go on since the last time your Instagram got um, deleted, and uh, you've been um, cooking at uh, events. You've been uh, doing private events. Yeah. And uh, you also took a little hiatus for a minute too. I did. And you got married. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, yeah. big DFZ Radio High Times TV. Yeah. Congratulations to you. Thank Congrats. you. Thank you. What was the cake like? Uh, <laughs> First thing I gotta ask, what was the cake? The Did cake. you do a unicorn um, um, puke cake? <laughs> I actually didn't make my own cake. I didn't do anything. I as respect far you as for that because I when you got a, that, enough stuff that's going on for a, a wedding day, the last thing you should be yeah. concerned about is your cake. No, I was definitely not trying to trying to outdo myself with so, that. So, what kind of cake did you have? Um, I had two cakes. So the first cake I had was non medicated. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was the flavor though? It was a good one. Obviously. It was. It was good. I honestly can't remember. Did was, you say? Did Did you do like the stereotypical thing and save like the roof of the cake, like yeah. the top, for like a year? Is it still in the freezer? It's still there. Ah, <laughs> Instagram. We'll see what happens home. whenever. <laughs> yeah. That's what that is. So, uh, what's what's the new what's the newest confectionery you've come out with, and uh, what's the new infusing technique you've been using? Still using the same infused infusing technique with the shatter okay um into and the, the coconut, coconut oil, oil. yeah um but i am going to start pushing more cbd because i feel like that's where the market's going it's a huge angle for sure i mean, i think the cbd and the coconut oil i mean the uh, the thc and the coconut oil has kind of been your signature now mm-hmm. i mean it's it's like your signature for it infusing. works i don't really think i need to really change it i mean it it's been working for me, so. And the uptake is, is great with the coconut oil, too. It's they got the beneficial health qualities, too. So when it comes to CBD, um, have you got to do any dabbling with uh, cooking with CBD yet? Uh, with with uh, desserts, yeah. Okay. With, yeah. And I'm actually going to come out with a new um, extension of the business. I'm going to do uh, dog treats, but not just any regular dog treats. I'm going to make, it's going to be like boutique dog treats. So if you want a 
doggy dessert table for your dog's birthday. Very bougie, yes. I'm going to have that. I'm going to make a CBD it. dog cakes. And uh, mm-hmm. the name of the company is going to be Bud's Barkery. Ah, I see what you did So there. Bud is my dog. Um, this dog, he's like an like a human being. He likes to smoke. He likes to drink. He enjoys it. Like, if, if you put an infused treat and then a regular treat in front of him, he'll pick the... He knows. The infused one every single He's time. He's taste for it. Well, yeah. he, know, he knows, he mama, he knows it. mama made it. He loves it. What it kind of dog him. is it? He's like half a uh, Sharpay and half Golden Retriever. Okay, so he's kind of a big dog. Yeah, he's he like a medium-sized dog. He's cute. He's cute. I'm going to show you guys a fluffy. picture. Now, when medicating your dog with CBD, <laughs> um, what is like a good safe dosage <laughs> to start with? Mm, I do maybe between 50 mil- 30 to 50 milligrams okay. for my dog. See, for that's where dog. I'm trying Everyone's to like, I'm trying to play around with it uh-huh. because I know other, you know, with smaller dogs, I'm sure they need less, less, a lot less. Yeah. Probably. Well, I, I think that's a, that's a great way to uh, market your, your product is to get into the, the, the dog in the, uh, the animal space. Yeah. Cause people love their animals. Yeah. And then, you know, if, if, if you love your cannabis, <laughs> people love the cannabis. They love the animals too. Oh, look at the picture. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's a cutie. That's a cutie. It's the little blue thing, right? No, I'm joking. <laughs> that's, its, that's its toy. That's its toy. What's his name? Bud. Bud's Barkley. Bar- right. Barkery. Like Barkery. Like bakery, but Barkery. Okay, okay. So um, the, n- the next human flavors. What's the next human flavors coming out? <laughs> There's gonna be like a blueberry. She gave it up. She gave it up. I wanted to talk about my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have two more. No. Do you have two dogs? Yeah, we have three dogs and, one, and a cat. Does no. the cat medicate? No. Okay. No. All right. We're talking the medicating your drinks. animals here. <laughs> the DMZ Radio. Drinking. High Times TV. <laughs> so on on seven ten, we got Troy in the studio with the dabbing dots. Hey. We got oh the Binkus treats. <clears throat> we got brewskis. So let's talk. Uh, let's talk cake. Five six two six five three zero seven zero seven. We got two more spots open for the Magic Butter Machine giveaway. Pin that in your Instagram. Five six two six five three zero seven zero seven. Give it away. You guys hear that? But, um, so do you? Uh, you you doing your own gardening? Yeah, so I have a girl now and a boy. So you're, yo, so but now you're a breeder. Last time I talked to her, she no. was popping seeds. Now she's fucking cloning. But check out this, <laughs> check out the boy, how I found it, right? So we don't really have a lot of grass, like, where we live, but there's some that's, like, poking out on the sides of the driveway. So I'm weeding one day, and as I'm pulling the, the, the weeds out, a smell of dank crosses my face. And I'm like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Like, who's smoking? And I look down, and it's a little baby weed plant. Little baby went, and I was like, holy shit, someone threw a seed here. So I, I replanted it, and now it's fucking huge. It ended up being a boy, uh, that's obviously, okay. you know, obviously. But I'm keeping it. I, I'm going to make maybe, like, some hemp juice. I use the leaves for, like, my cakes and stuff like that to, for toppers. And then I have a girl in the back, in the backyard. I'm doing it all outside. You should bang some of the pollen off that into the girl in the back. Mm, yeah. Now, now Troy well, over here, he'll oh. tell you how to. He'll tell you how to make some seeds. But like, what if I don't know what the boy is? Because I just found it in the. Well, it's all an experiment. I mean, you can yeah, you can true. take some of the pollen off, mix it with uh, some petroleum jelly, and apply it to the bottom arms, and then isolate those off, and you'll have some seeds there to mess with, and then the rest of the plant will be sensimia. Oh. Oh, shit. So that's okay. one thing you could do. Troy yeah, telling people how to spread the <laughs> pollen. He's the original pollen. I'm like a pollen cracker. Ori- I'm like, yeah. oh, pollen? Okay, well, then let's see. <laughs> He's the original pollen chucker since 1972. <laughs> He's been chucking pollen. <laughs> <laughs> he, comes from, he comes from a long line of pollen chuckers. His father was a pollen chucker. His grandfather was a chucker. He grew up with pollen. Chucking through my veins. Chucking in his veins. <laughs> <laughs> Mother chucka. Um, but no, I mean, it's interesting because we, we do talk about cooking, but we like to talk about growing here too because mm-hmm. without growing the plant, you couldn't get to cooking True. with the plant. Exactly. Now, um, Troy, when it comes to like the pollen in the plant, like, can you, is that a one time use thing or is there other uses for it? Can you store it? Yeah, uh, definitely. It's it's to be stored. It can be stored uh, depending on how, you know how tight your seal is and stuff. It can be stored in your fridge for a year, <laughs> year and a half. So you can collect pollen from a cannabis plant, put it in the freezer, and then use it later. That's exactly right. That's so. what you do. You know, there's so much of it, and I mean, really, just a just a thumb full of it is enough to do a field worth. 
So if you take that in consideration, wow. when you bang a plan out and I get, you know, maybe an eighth of a cup, you know, it, it goes a long way. So you want to well, use it for different breeding projects because for one, you don't want to throw all your pollen at one genetic do you or do you want to save it so you can try it on many different things till yeah. you find out what works well i just want i just want my neighbors um, plants to all have seeds and mine not. <laughs> so i was just yeah yeah i was just gonna ba- basically garden warfare that's very kind of you i mean you know like hey, if, hey sprinkle sprinkle yeah all that and the price goes up and the price goes up 26 <laughs> is the new low Hell yeah. but you should get seeds with it now 26 is the, is the super low. Um, so 562-653-0707. Call in to win a magic butter machine. We got Babinka and Troy from Burning Bush in the studio. Uh, Tama just played a wonderful game of sex act or stock tip. Um, he, he's one for one right now. That's not bad. That's not bad. We might come back from a commercial break in a minute and you can play some more. Okay. So Babinka, what's the next event you'll be at? Um, I'll semi be in and out of this one. It's um, this Saturday um, in Buena Park. It's called um, Midsummer Cannabis. Oh, oh yeah, my yeah. God. yeah that I saw that. Yeah, Midsummer Cannabis. So I'll be there somewhat. I'll be there in the morning to set up. I'm going to leave him, I'm going to leave Tama and <coughs> my husband to run it for a little bit because there's Concha Con going on. Wait, what? Concha Con. So like Concha? Bunch of Conchas. <clears throat> yeah, I know the what that is. Oh. Troy, what's that? Mad conscious. What are conscious? <laughs> a concha. Conchas. I'm still waiting for <laughs> someone to, to tell ear. me what's a concha. A you hold it up to your ear and listen oh, to the ocean. Oh, for the uh, ocean? Oh, man. See, show. yeah, you on that Hawaiian island vibe for sure. So. <laughs> yeah, but that's either. going on. So I was going to step over to that for a little bit and get a bunch of sweet bread and then right. get back to the So event. you got to be careful with the sweet bread because to me, sweet bread Uh-oh. means brains. To her, sweet bread means... Like Bundle pastries, thing. yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what does sweet bread mean? Sweet yeah. bread, sweet breads is um like basically like the international like European term for like brains. Oh, yeah, like lamb brain is like known as sweet bread. I did not oh, know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's that mm-hmm. freaky deaky European cuisine. Shout out sweet to hydropon- hydroponic out here, just holding it down for the OC crown. Let's take a uh, phone call real quick. We got a caller coming in from. Three different places. We're just taking this one live on the air, Saint. Fuck it. DFZ Radio, Farm to Table Cannabis. You're on the air with the Hydro Chef, Babinka, and Troy from Burning Bush. What's up, guys? How you doing? Oh, we can't call What's it. We're just out here trying to make a way out of no way. How about you? Dabbing it. Doing good. Hydroponic. Just checking in. Checking oh, shit. This is Drew. So you're on FaceTime and you're on the phone now. We should have just, bro- <laughs> just brought you in on the camera so we could have saw that pretty OC face, man. How's the waves down there in OC? I just want to check in and see what you're doing because you're always doing something good. Oh, man. We appreciate the love, oh, dude. Yeah. We appreciate the love. Do you happen to have any cooking or gardening questions you can uh, hit the pollen shucker Troy with or the uh, cake creator herself, Babinka, with? Or, hell, if you uh, want to just prank call me, I'd I love that. A, I do have a general question. It would be good for me to get this uh, solidified and probably good for other people. Is it best to, to dry – sorry, I got the pity bark in the background. Is it best to dry your trim or uh, – a material that you're going to be using for your edibles before cooking? I think so because you're going to get less of that flavor and you got um, the chlorophyll still in there, right? So the longer it dries, you're getting a little bit less of that green taste. So uh, especially if you're going to be using it for like a um, like a butter or something that has a tendency to really pick up the flavor, I, I would say dry is preferred. Um, there's definitely no wrong way to do it. It's just uh, if you want to do it for the flavor of the cannabis, do it when it's wet. If you want to do it for, like, you know, the medical properties without too much taste, dries better because, you know, then, then you have a little more control. Right on. One more question. You kind of made me stumble upon one more. Is there, uh, like, an expiration date? As long as everything stays dry, it doesn't get moldy. Is, will everything be good years down the road? Let's say a year down the road, you've got trim that's been in a bin. Nice and cool and dry. Would you know, be good to cook with? it's always better to store your trim in the freezer because it's going to help uh, keep the quality better. That's where you're going to get those beautiful green butters and those yellow butters instead <coughs> of those brown butters, which you get when the when the plant oxidizes and the oxygen gets to it. You're going to get less of that, you know, beautiful colors. But at the same time, if it was between using it or throwing it away, it's still great to use. It's just you're going to have less of a, a, a quality color. My recommendation would be to take the old trim and press it into rosin and use it. And if not, then maybe do like one of those other extract methods. 
but uh, rosin is my preferred because you know it's it's solventless. All right, all right. Well, shoot, dude. You guys got my you guys got my you know my questions answered. I saw I was listening when you were talking about the uh, the pollinating. That was pretty cool. How a thumb's worth can do a whole field. I'm with that. Drill, you're you're killing it, man. Do you know that you 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 are a grand prize winner, man? You get the magic butter machine what? for calling in. I bet you didn't see yeah. that coming. So uh, you're that gonna. The other reason I called in. That's it. You're <laughs> gonna you're gonna send me your address, and then uh, we're gonna get one of those shipped out to you. And uh, yeah, man, I'll I'll even come I'll even come over there and cook you your own personal meal with that magic butter machine, baby. You gonna make some jambalaya? We gonna make some cheese wheel. You guys. Hey, thanks. For uh, shout out to Upstate Grower. He's working on the on the that. on the song. Just with you later. Hell yeah, for sure. Thanks for calling in, man. And we're going to get that sent out to you. Send me your info. Guys, thank you. God bless you. Hell yeah. 562-653-0707. We hooking you up every week. Let's take oh, the next caller, yeah. Babinka, before you take off. We got to get you lit. <laughs> All right. You got a question. DFZ Radio, I, far Farm to Table Cannabis. I do. I want to know if you will teach me your magic. Teach me what? Oh, we got another prank caller. Your magic. I love creating food with cannabis, and you are amazed by being your food. Oh, Enjoy word. Troy, I think. Medicated savage in the house. I thought I was being that butter maker. <laughs> out, of, out of girl. There you go. Stay lit. Stay lit. Mm -hmm. So did you, have a, did you have a question for the, uh, the Burning Bush team or uh, Babinka or the Hydro Chef? Well, that was my question. I was asking Burning Bush and the Hydro Chef if they would help teach me their magic because ah. I love creating. So <laughs> I would love to be a part of a team that creates magic in this state. That's right. Well, we're currently not hiring, but if you tune in every Wednesday at 5 o'clock on DFZ Radio, you can win a magic butter machine and you can get this free knowledge that we're putting yeah. out right now. Ain't that right, Troy? True, true. Shout out to Angel. Sure, I love it. Angel, you Thank send you. us you send us your uh, information and we're going to get you a sample of some grow <laughs> products from our sponsors, our good sponsors oh, out yeah. there at DFZ Radio. And uh, always, as always, thank you for calling in. Right on. All right. And Babinka, so the next event, you said, ref refresh my memory. Oh, yeah, this Saturday. This Saturday, uh, the cannabis. Midsummer. Midsummer cannabis. There we go. There she looked go. it up. Now she's got it. Now, um, this, this ever-evolving world of cooking with cannabis, um, you know, what what is in the future for you in 2020? I mean, we're already halfway through this year. Um, legalization is in full swing. It's a fucking shit show. Um, straight up, hydropocalypse is in full effect. Pounds are going for like 2,600. Um, what's going What's going on for you in the in the upcoming year? I want to gear more towards um, like weddings, birthday parties. I mean, I also do non medicated, but I mean. How cool would a CBD uh, baby shower dessert team? I mean, Kim K did it, so we could do it too. I could definitely see that being a good niche <coughs> for you too. I mean, so many people are, are are breaking the stigma around cannabis too. So, like there, there was a time you could never advertise yeah. a infused baked good. Like now, you're leading the pack. <laughs> how many how many um, belts you got under for the high times cup wins? Actually, I never and I've never even. You've got, bended at high times. If you, I mean, you have won competitions, though. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. I've seen your accolades. What are some of the competitions you've taken down? Um, I did a few. I got how many? I think two at uh, Kushdok. Nice. I got first place for the Papi Churro Donuts. And Which then, you brought on the show before. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Saint, remember and those? Yeah. Those are my third place winners right there. The Ube so, Cookies. So you, these, these took third place at a competition at Kushdok? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm. Troy and I also had a little fun at Kushdok. You one of those cookies over yeah. there. That's why I, I was looking around. <laughs> <laughs> Troy and I took first place for best topical. Oh, I did see that, yeah. For a combination <laughs> with the Burning Bush and uh, the Hydro Chef. So, uh, you know, we, we, we all like Kushdok. Kushdok's a good event to be <laughs> oh at. It is, a good, it's, it is a good event. Shout but out to Dr. It, K. It's Prop 64 now, so it's very limited on, on, <coughs> on what... Um, events you can attend that's mm -hmm. not at a fairground yeah right so a, yeah. that's rough too because you do these private events now so what do you what do you because i know i know you we've got you 10 minutes longer than we were supposed to <laughs> um w what's like you with the changing way of uh people are able to do events most of them have to be private now like do you ever see yourself getting the uh, cannabis coordinators a license maybe throwing an event at a uh at a, fa at, a, at a fairground or anything like that? Or is it going to be straight underground sessions and things like that? No, I don't want to continue doing sessions. Um, I don't want to throw my own event. That is 
a headache. Uh, yeah, I see how what my friends go through, and I don't want to go through that. <laughs> um, but you know, if I, I don't know, I, I got to see what I can do with what what it is that I want to do with with cannabis, because I don't necessarily want to go corporate and um, have mass amounts of like donuts and all the dispensaries and stuff like that. I had thought about it at one point. I did because I mean that's a lot of money, but at the same time. I don't really want other people baking my stuff. I don't mm. want other hands because, yes, they'll get trained on it. But really, no one's going to give a shit about your product but you. Yeah, that's true. No one can sell it like you can, too. Now, let me ask you this. Do you <coughs> do any shipping? Um, can people pick your product up in any other states or anything like that? Do, how, how does that work? Uh, well, the CBD, yeah. Um, there's a shop in Austin that will carry But it's only at, at <laughs> in the summertime, they don't, they don't get too many shipments because it is really hot. So mm-hmm. in the wintertime, I'll ship them the CBD donuts. Um, but other than that, no. I mean, if All you right. can get money, idea for you, CBD Donut Club, What's that? and just people just have to buy the donuts and you mail them out. Boom, frozen packaging, ready to go, nice and cool. You get your donut next day. CBD, boom. That'd be dope. I mean, I could. I mean, that that I would love to do that. We have to figure out the shipping on that. Yeah, that 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 wouldn't be half the battle. That's easy. That's easy. You got yeah. that. So, Babinka, as always, you keep us uh, <coughs> always medicated here with the Ube cookies. We got to take one more quick break. Then we're going to come back with Troy from Burning Bush. We're going to get split. We're going to eat some Ube cookies. And uh, we're going to give away some more prizes. And we got we got Nutty Piper coming in, you guys. He's calling in. We might, even, we might even have a little shout out for Troy here in a minute. Wow, DFC forward. Radio, Farm to Table Cannabis, Babinka and Troy in the studios. Yeah. Yee! Like me, hello, one bitch, man. Like, I just need a little smoke. How I go from being broke to fucking and freaking and digging the bitch and telling me she loves herself to get choked. I'm not the one for them feels. Most of y'all be cheap thrills. I'd rather be poor than popping and mixing that juice, that ice stuff from that seal. Smoke in my lungs make it all better. I will OD with weed and die never. Smoke it wherever, I any endeavor. I'll smoke whoever, I stay high forever. Now the roof's gone. I've been taking so many drugs, what are you on? Used to hate me, now they wanna play me my songs. And I don't think they will understand. Working hard like a businessman. To have the things that I never had. I went through some lessons, no lessons. I put in that work, now it's blessings on blessings Like nothing can stop me, like Iron Man armies I keep that shit on me, just telling you, homie I'ma get me what I deserve While I drive with a little swerve With a fogged out car while I'm smoking the bomb Getting top driving in reverse Gotta pay all the haters, no mind, mind And waiting until I get done After the money, while you acting funny Be calling and wasting my time, time Gotta pay all the haters, no mind, mind And waiting until I get signed after the money, why you acting funny? Be calling and wasting my time, time. The roof's gone. I've been taking so many drugs. What are you on? Used to hate me, now they wanna play me my songs. And I don't think they will understand. Working hard like a businessman to have the things that I've never had. What up, people? It's your girl, Justina Valentine, and I'm rocking out with the Saint 562. Let's go. Word. All right, we're back live in the studio. We're getting litter than lit, but Bink is hitting on some of these dabbing dots. Have you ever had the dabbing dots before? So these are a unique product. Uh, Troy, first of all, Troy from Burning Bush is in the studio. What up, Troy? Thanks yeah, for coming happening? in, man. Thanks for keeping uh, Babinka and I litter than lit. <laughs> um, so the Burning Bush dab and dots. It's, uh-huh. a, it's, it's not, an, an, a, it's not a, a brand new thing. It's a fucking presentation thing. Rosin's not new, but the way it's being presented is mm-hmm. definitely something that's uh, uh, on the upper echelon of cool. So let's see what they look like real quick. You got a so box over there, bro? She's got one. You got, one? Uh, you got I, a box of those? Yeah, and then I here's give the you. dots. Here's the tool. And uh, Babinka's going to get lit for a 710. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they're, they're, perfect, they're perfectly shaped yeah. little little circles. Micro-dose <coughs> size <coughs> rosin dots. Micro-dose, but I'm still coughing. 
And uh, Troy, you've been doing these for many moons now. They can catch you at the sesh, at the maniac sesh. They can catch you at the fucking Friday night sesh. They can catch, I mean, goddamn, is there a sesh you don't attend? You a whole job. Um, he don't want to hate on anyone. He, even though people yeah, hate on him, he's there, not there's hate. a lot I don't attend. You know, I, 99% of them I don't attend, but I, I do attend like you know a couple of the ones that that are my home base, and then you know like High Times festivals and all the basic festivals. And speaking you know, of High Times, you just took down second place at the uh, High Times Cup, and you yeah. also got a first place from Kush Stock. I mean, you've been placing left and right. The the, the recognition is is definitely being felt. Yeah, yeah. You get trinkets. You like trinkets. Yeah, right? it's a trinket. You know what I mean? I you got mean, another trinket last week. I'm old. I mean, at least I'll have that to show for it, right? You, know, I'll have, I'll have a, you think I can make a few bucks off those one day? <laughs> can he? Can a motherfucker make a few bucks? He's asking you. Just so, I don't know. Let's ask the callers. <coughs> we got we got Nutty Piper calling in from New Orleans. Uh, What's good, Nola? What's poppin', man? What is You already know, man. You, you've been doing it for a minute. What's up, Nutty? Man, happy seven ten to everybody in there. Yep, thank you, bro. Good to hear you. Yeah, dog. I had, I had a few questions. What? Uh, He's first, got questions. Was hydroponic chef. Oh, uh, how did you get the cheese wheel? I... <laughs> he wants to know about the motherfucking cheese wheel. <laughs> cheese yeah, wheels in dog, full effect. Some of that? <laughs> He's coming for so the cheese. The the cheese wheel is a thing comes from Italy, man. You see, you see that shit being performed all over Europe when they when they light the cheese on fire and throw the pasta in it. it and Troy, tell tell them about the next event that's coming up. Oh, July twenty eighth. July twenty eighth. It starts. It's just basically a, a one off here. That's that's gonna happen from time to time with music and media and uh, eclectic groups of people that have uh, artful projects that they have going on. You know, gathered in one place, and that's where Nutty's performing at. You know, we got, um, who else? Supreme from Wu-Tang, he's the host. Supreme, Wu-Tang's going to be yeah, in the building. And so him and Nutty will hold it down with the music and, um, you know, just music movies, hanging out. So what kind of what, what kind of gave you the idea to do the sesh with the, with the movies? Well, actually, the idea is to get away from the sesh. You know, the seshes are just... It's kind of becoming, you know, I won't say it's becoming obsolete, but I mean, it's really, you know, not how it used to be. So now it seems like the best thing to do, you know, is these, these music events. And, and why not everyone just come to these music events again like it used to be? Hang out, smoke, you know, gather, you know, chill. No, no one has to charge a ton of money or make a bunch of money. But I mean, we need somewhere to all congregate out, congregate you know have I mean? our farmers out. market we, we need that and we need it in a safe environment yeah. where everybody's doing the right thing you know and and that's what that, that's what we're doing really so it's nutty you've been you've been doing this for a minute and what are some of the events that you've been to that have uh you know been some of the more stellar uh, events to attend man well last night we just uh we did a countdown for 710 and it sold out dog and what city was that in Oh, that was down here in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So now you're you're making you're making frequent travels between New Orleans and Southern California. Um, wh- yeah, but that's only to see family, though. Okay, okay. Now, what about the performances? Because uh, you've been doing some performing lately too. Oh yeah, 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 dog. Um, whenever you want me to perform, I show up, no problem. <laughs> well. I want I want you to tell our listeners out in DFZ Radio Listener Land where they can check out your music if they don't know about Nutty Piper and how we can uh you know how how we can hear your next uh, products coming out. Well, um, you can look me up. You can Google me, N U D D I E P I P E R. Ooh, he went robot on it. P I P E R. I'm a little strong. Dropping that voltage. There we go. So fuck yeah! And how how long you been rap? How long you been rapping, Nutty? Oh, um, I've been rapping for quite some time, dog. Uh, I want to say since I was like fourteen. Well, you got any music on uh, on the YouTube or SoundCloud? We can play on our outro, and we'll play it on our way out. Man, just look up uh, a track I got it's called "Burning Bush." It's, you can just Google it, and you can just run that. You know, it's like uh, "Damn Nutty, what you smoking like that." And it's N U D. I'm trying to roll them bitches up as fast as ball back. Uh, and it's it, it's nutty N U D D I E, right? 
Yeah. All right. There yes, we go. And before, before, and before, and before I, I, I go, I just got to give a big shout out to my fucking manager, Kim Dog. We love you. You know what I'm saying? We, in, oh, you know, we on Hurricane Watch right now, but we'll be back soon. <laughs> That's right. And we're going to dab them dots when you get back to California, man. True, true. We miss yeah, you, bro. We, we love you over here. Yeah, we're going to be dabbing through the storm, yo. We're going to be out there soon. All right. We're going to play some Burning Bush from Nutty Piper here on the outro here in a minute. Run that shit, yo. That's and right. I definitely want some of that cheese wheel, dog. <laughs> the cheese wheel will be full effect at the uh, J- July what? what? what, what, what? 28th. 28th, July Sunday 28th, service. the Sunday service. It's going down. All right, man. I seen some shit with like sauces in it and all that. Yo, I oh, really shit. That. He I, showed, I, ain't I showed him dinner last night. So you know, I can eat all that, dog. <laughs> he, he eats good. That's right. He didn't see the shrimp. Didn't oh, you didn't the see the shrimp, part. the sausage, and the cornbread, too? Now yeah, I know I'm speaking your language. Yes, sir. Yeah, dog. That's, that's definitely my language. <laughs> all right, then. Well, you be good out there. Safe travels. Embrace for the storm. We hope you guys all stay safe, okay? All right, man. Y'all be blessed. Yeah, bro. Yes, Love sir. Bro. So, Troy, man, you've affected a, a lot of people out in this community, man. You got you got a good team rolling with you right now. Um, last time you threw an event, it it it, it, it popped off. Um, oh, Troy's not there no more. No, nah, Troy's still here. So, uh, what's got you inspired to do your own event, man? Well, just the turnout of that, um, the amount of people that we have reached over the past like 18 months, um, you know, I want them, I want to, them all to be in one place, you know, like I meet a lot of people I pass through, maybe I see them once every two, three months. I just want to see them all in one place. I want them to all be happy in one place. And um, I think I can provide that environment that they will come and 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 enjoy that what are the sessions missing right now i mean you know what i think the the session in in that sense um is it is what it is it is what it always has been it's just it's a service for patients you know that that don't want to pay triple and quadruple the price for their medicine because they don't have enough money to do it as it is i mean simple um, but other than that, um, we're not, we're more into like the music side, uh, you know, like the sessions, they, they have music playing going and, and, and some of them will, will hire acts and they'll have the groups playing. We're into that part of it. You know what I mean? We're not into the, the stacks of tables with packs piled up. We're not into that part. You know what I mean? As much we're, we're into having, you said as much, <laughs> we're, we're, we're into having cool groups and, and cool artists doing doing the art they're passionate about what whether it's painting rhyming making beats um skateboarding uh, um whatever their art and passion is like that's the people that we want involved with us you know we don't we're not into the down the bottom part of it the part the washed out part of it we're, we're into the up and coming excitement of people having somewhere to gather and do their thing you know whatever it is and 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 this is the place to do it it's not it's not as much about dabs or or weed or shit like that you know what i mean it's really about just everybody having a safe place to be and at, now speaking you know? of safe are, is this medicine they're serving at these events safe i mean is any medicine safe i mean you know the deal with the legal side i bet you can go into a dispensary and get a batch numbered something or another and uh, maybe that batch number is not even real so what can you trust? You know, mm. I mean, it's up to the individual to discern their medicine, what their intake is. No one, no one uh, operates your lungs for you. You do that, you know. So, I mean, it's. And then we got to. It, it's up to people like me that can control this environment, like I said, for these parties and the few people that do provide, you know, cool stuff and cool new stuff to, you know. Isn't it kind of up to the person deciding who drops the wares, you know, like, um. I, I'm I I keep it pretty, you know. But I think the one thing you'll get at a dispensary is at least you'll know what your medicine is that you're yeah, getting. Yeah, for the most part, for the most part. But you know what? Like, if you think about it, the people that really need the medicine the most, they it seems to me like most of them have already been attacked financially with their meds previously, you know. And it's like, how much do they have left to pay for meds? 
and I mean, I, I understand. I, I understand um, maybe that market. <clears throat> Homegirl, a uh, chick with a whisk just said, yes, you can, buy, you can be buying tested weed that costs more, but the people at the lab testing it is busted for not working the equipment, and the test results are all false. Thank you, sweetie. I mean, that's just reality. <laughs> You know what I mean? I, and I'm not saying that I'm not knocking one side or the other because really it, it, it all is what it is. Anyone that takes the time to grow the plant, you know, I believe and, and finish it and it look, you know, the way they want and they get what they want out of it. I think they're going to take care. And I think that's across the board. You know, there's it, I don't think there's any just I mean, the days of uh, fools using evil eagle and avid. I yeah, mean, yeah, they're still yeah. they're still around. So, yeah. you, I mean, you got to do your due diligence. You got to know your grower, know the yeah. recipe. And true, I true. mean. That's that's a big thing now because yeah. with people people are using all kinds of weird pest control products and you got to no make doubt. sure you're Always. staying safe. It's been going on forever, bro. So, yeah, especially if you're mm-hmm. ingesting your cannabis too. No <laughs> doubt. Um, mm. So, what's your favorite way nice. to consume, man? Uh, rosin, dab. Macho man Randy Rosin. Over Macho here. man Randy Rosin. No oh, B, yeah, no B. Brother. H. Hogan. I mean, I don't know. I'll smoke a B. H. Hogan uh, from time to time. I'll, I'll slam one down. I got some B.H. Hogan over here. I'm not here. above the B.H. Hogan. Come on now. I mean, well, you're going to be in good position PM, because I'm, I'm cool with it. at the beginning of the show, we were talking about the butane ban. Um, yeah. So they're going to okay. be uh, trying to put a big clamp on the home about that. extraction and uh, things like that. The, they're, they're, they might be burning bush, but it won't be because they blew up their house. That's true. They'll be burning bush because um, we just use heat and pressure. <laughs> heat and pressure. So what's your preferred uh, mm-hmm. uh, press? Well, hmm, let me see. There's so many rosin presses out there. There's like probably hundreds and hundreds of them, and they all suck except for Sasquatch. (laughs) I like how you did that. I was like, yeah, he's going to go down the list right now? I mean, you can get a ton of different rosin presses for a few hundred dollars that are held together with plastic clamps and Gorilla Tape and Flex Seal and whatnot. But, I mean, if you want to get one, invest in it. You know, a car that's going to win you a ton of races before you even have to change the engine. You know, that's the one. All right. You know. So you you heard it here first, folks. www.sasquashrosinpress.com. So yeah. you heard it from Burning Bush. Sasquatch is the fucking truth. So uh, all this rosin for the Burning Bush mostly comes off of a, a Sasquatch then? Every single piece. There we go. All right. So what's with the laser etching? Tell us how that shit gets done. <laughs> Yeah, that's just... Uh, it's Saint, you ever seen a, a labeled uh, a dab dot with a, a laser etching on it? Uh, not until I've seen his. That shit is <laughs> wild. <laughs> well, that's not... Honestly, that's not my idea. You know, uh, I, I got that from a guy in Spain, and um, he was doing it over there, La Calada. It's a club in Spain. And um, those guys were doing it, and, and no one over here was doing it. So I thought, you know, I wouldn't be probably bothering him if I came over here and did a few and then shout him out, you know. <laughs> and next thing you know, that shit is popping. You know, you know, it's pretty cool. It's fun. Nice little something to look at, you know. So if you weren't doing this, brother, what would you be doing? If you weren't in the cannabis industry, would you be making music? Would you be fucking a hitman? Would you be fucking, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I would actually uh, probably still be a producer, you know. I did, so I did that for 25 years. You come from the music industry. I do, I do. So I, I'd probably do that and um, and and try to be lazy. Maybe I don't know. Like that sounds like it'd be cool. Lazy know? would be fun. Yeah, right? it'd be fun. <laughs> Well, we want to give a big thank you to Babinka for coming in. Um, it, it's always a joy when she brings in these ube cookies. We should have another one in her honor, and then. Um, Troy, any parting messages before uh, I take over and do a Hydro Chef's thoughts? Kind of like Jerry's thoughts, but I just say a lot less inspirational shit. Mm, let me see. Not really. <laughs> He's got nothing. <laughs> I'm just. It's uh, okay. I'll do it for both of us. I love all my peoples, uh, all the peoples that follow on um, Burning Bush, Cocal 3.0. And um, whenever we disappear, they just hop right back on there. So. I appreciate those guys and everyone that looks out for us, you know, and um, defends us and is our the skin on our apple. I uh, appreciate all of those people. You know what I mean? So I'm going to leave you with these parting thoughts. In a world full of fucktards and haters, spread some love. Don't be that fucking guy trying to keep another person in the fucking community down by nitpicking their shit off the fucking shelf or picking their fucking Instagram to pieces with hateful comments, or just fucking being an all-around fucktard. 
In this world full of hate, if you're dishing that shit out, you better be ready for the amount of fucking finger pointing that's going to go on after that hate gets dished. So, uh, if you're hating, get under your fucking, uh, get under your tent and just fucking take a fart and breathe that shit in, you fucking little fart sniffing haters. (laughs) All right. Hydroponic chef. Those are my thoughts. Farm to table cannabis every week. DFZ radio and high times TV. Thanks for tuning in. We out. Heavy tea grow shows coming up in a minute. We've got the uh, meme it or leave it. We've got some LED questions that you guys got to get answered. You motherfuckers with those LEDs. God damn, you guys are shitting in some fucking tall cotton. All right, then. We'll catch you in a minute. The Heavy Tea Grow Show, DFZRadio.com. In a banana leaf, might roll the key if you smoke with me. One ounce in a font leaf, phone off, don't bother me. That live rosin was made this morning. Bubble hash, made last week. You know I got a plug, I ain't even gotta walk. Every damn joint roll drip that sauce. Times on stash that I probably smoke later. You know I'm high as a fucking skyscraper. This smoke good off climb elevators. What did you dab in it? What did you roll it? Smoke non stop while I press on the wax. Dab off the paper and take a seat back. You want a shotgun, got plenty kicked back. Dope boy fresh while puffing on the R. Roll fine toes and be more. And don't in LA, they won't freak and bitch gotta pay. Rolling up more door loads while up in the rain. They'll pull up at the week to your thing. Looking for a light, you know I got flame. No, you smoke weed, take you high as a plane. Follow my swag while I shit on my name. Spell on the verse like crazy insane. Four more deaths going straight to my brain. Wildly growing and blooming my strain. Full 20 shirts, I sip in that lean. Medically proven to naturally heal. Full 20 caps, so I'm popping the pill. I'm up in the ground that they cannot feel. Feeding my plants, honey rock nutrients. Burning bush and cattle. Keep an aircraft plane. No sticks, no seeds. Rolling them trees, came through bumping that flea. Damn so much that I cannot see. Police bitching about how much I smoke. Smoking that good till I'm up in the days. One more roll put me up in the maze. Kick this beat like Johnny Cage. They up in the rage while I'm up in the clouds. 504, we kinda saw it. How are you doing? Remember my name. Rolling one, rolling two, rolling three, going smoke a few.